I mean, look how strong Nier is. Those are some big doors. Ooh, hello there. Get us a few more items before we, uh... Go for the final boss, as it were. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're trying to load us up now. You can tell final boss has got to be incoming at this point. Especially when we have three linear hallways in a row. This door's shinier. Do we want to talk this over? Oh, look. You made it. We've been waiting for so long. What the hell is going on? It began 1,300 years ago. Oh boy, you guys ready to get pretty much a good chunk of the story dropped on you right now? Humanity, finding itself on the brink of extinction, undertook a last-ditch rescue plan called Project Gestalt. Gestalt? Do you still not remember, Grimoire Vice? Then let's give you a refresher. Oh boy. Yeah, that was a lot. I can't remember if we're actually allowed to read those or if that was the only thing we were allowed to read. If so, I'm going to uh, show you each one of them in turn. Vice. Uh, my mind. Uh, I, I remember. Devil. Popola. You are not human. In fact. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the truth can be a real bitch. You want to finish that thought for him, sister? All of us. Every person standing in this room are mere shells created by the true humans. You lie. Nope, not this time. You're not human. None of us are. So then humans, I mean the true humans, they're extinct? No, they still live on. You know them as shades. Oh boy. Each shade is a twisted remnant of what was once a human being. Are a lot of things making more sense now? Crazy, huh? Now let's skip the part where you stand there with your mouths agape and just get down to business. Wait. Wait. Sorry, but we're gonna be needing that shell of yours. The rightful owner has been waiting for a very long time. Please don't be angry with us. We are only doing our duty. Under the command of the true humans, we live eternally for the sole purpose of controlling others. That's the only reason we exist. You have your own motives, your own desires. And we have ours. I fear it really is just that simple. Don't speak such foolish mess. Sorry. Looks like we're gonna have to fight again. Ow. <laughs> oh, I hope they give me some battle music at some point. Ow, ow. I'm nothing like you. None of us are. Oh boy, that is, that's pretty brutal. I think we need to maintain some range if we want to survive. Uh, and here's the music. Is this music played yet? Yeah, it has actually, hasn't it? I like this track though.
There we go. Stun locker. An odd battle arena, isn't it? This doesn't look like a... Whoops. Like a typical battle arena. Dang it, help. You've got no health, don't run away. There we go. I almost feel bad about this. Devila? Devila! Crying? No. Don't die. You know, I understand now why we're twins. It's because because we were born without souls. Devla, I, I can't stop the bleeding. Oh God, I can't stop it. This world is too lonely for one without a soul. There's too much. She's mad now. Stop whining and start fighting. It's the only way. Devil, uh, no. No stopping. No stopping ever. become. But there's something else there now. Something like pride. 
you know? I mean, without all this, I couldn't have become your friend. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you for everything. Emil. For so long, all I could do was destroy. But now, I have a chance to save something. No! Keep going. Move. Emil. Don't worry. I'm gonna be fine. That doesn't look fine to me. Emil! 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 You jackass! Get back here! Emil! Oh dear. Kinda is so unstable. And Vice can't stop arguing with people. I hope they can hold it together once I'm gone. They'll just have to learn. Very sinister. Very cryptic. I wonder what all that could mean. Kine. Come on, Nier. We can't let everyone's sacrifices be in vain. We've got to keep going. We're so close. So 
that little bit that we had revealed before, are things making any, any more sense for anyone? I hope so. I hope so. But don't worry, don't worry. You think you think you've got it figured out now, right? You think, oh well that was the big twist of the game, which admittedly it was. That was the big twist of the game. So you think you think you've got it figured out now. Oh. <laughs> No, that's what the that's what the second and third and technically fourth playthroughs are all for. We're not done. Oh gosh. Thank you for all of your useless non-healing items. Thank you. Finally something. And I mean, I'm not saying that that was like the most out of left field, you know, twist in the world. It, it really wasn't. I mean, to the degree that it went, I think it was. But the very fact that these were humans, I don't think was was any kind of twist at all. Because if you've been paying attention, you know, I've had people like Blaze in the comments saying, well, you know, why why do I hear children's voices when whenever people are, whenever you kill the shades? You know, stuff like that. And then further on to the fact that they haven't been, they just did it a ton right now. All the items they just dropped. But before this, even before this, we've been getting a lot of, you know, used coloring books and saws and stuff like that, and it's kind of well, it's kind of interesting. You know, why am I getting, you know, all this random stuff? Like, you know, closed book, thick dictionary, used coloring book. Those have been dropping school bags. Why Why have we been getting all of this stuff? Well, that's because these are all humans. And those are all normal items for humans to be having access to. Oh, and another good track of the game. Yona. Uh oh. You're gonna have to go through him first, right? Which I hope people notice that he looks familiar. Especially now that you know the twist. But don't worry, it gets even better, even if you have recognized that. While we may have finished with the game, we are maybe halfway done with the story as a whole. Like, there is still a good bit of story left. He's just up there. I don't think we can directly damage him. No, we have to attack the book right now. How could a mere tool hope to stand against the Shadow Lord? Don't oh gosh! Speak in such a manner, fool. I am nothing like you. There are a lot of bullets. A lot of bullets. Don't worry. If you liked the bullet hell parts of the game. They are, are certainly not going to stop. <laughs> oh gosh, they're not going to stop. <laughs> no, no, impossible. Good news is that we can use these fields of magic to get a load of magic for us. Don't relax yet. It's not over. Oh gosh, that looks bad. Okay. Good. Spear does a ton of damage. Much better than any of my magic attacks. Be careful! You too. Shadow Lord time. He's 
really not that bad. You're kind of destroying him right now. My extremely powerful spear. Wait. Yona? That's heartbreaking. What? Oh, that hurts, doesn't it? Dad, stop. Please. I... I don't want this anymore. I don't need someone else's body. I don't want it. Another girl inside this body. I can... I can hear her. She keeps crying. She says she wants to see her dad. Yona's been possessed. This girl loves her father too, as much as I do. She loves him just as much. It... it's not right that she can't see him. <laughs> The shade that possessed her is gone. Kainan, watch over your for me. You want me to understand your sadness? You think I'm gonna sympathize with you? I swore to protect my daughter and my friends. If someone puts them in danger, they must stand aside or be cut down. Come on, let's go. Oh. Oh man. Okay, can we guard that? I hope so. No, we can't guard that. That has to be dodged. Oh yeah, now he's mad. He's real mad. He's really, really mad about that whole thing. Vice, 
It seems that some headstrong idiot has decided to push me beyond my limits. I should have taken that job as a cookbook when I had the chance. Boys, I'm sorry. I... Only joking. I hate cookbooks. But... Let's go out of the way. I have one final task to fulfill. Where are you going? Why to stop him, of course. <gasps> but after that, it's up to you. Only you can see this battle to its conclusion. I wish you luck, my friend. You can't! I swore to fight by your side! <sighs> you are an exceedingly stubborn man. You know that, don't you? Perhaps that's why I've so enjoyed our time together. But I fear this is where our journey ends. Vice! Oh, and remember what I told you about using my full name? Oh, well, forget it. I've grown rather fond of Vice. Vice. I knew you'd come around. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head now. Gosh, I need like invincibility for like three seconds. There we go. Good thing I've got so much health. Oh, come on. Oh, this is rough. You know what? You know what we need? You know what we need? Half damage for magic attacks. That's what we need. Just chug these things practically. Almost there. There we go. Oh, this is being quite rough, isn't it? Love the layers in the music, though. It really makes it really makes this battle so much fun Just to hear them slowly strip off. Anyone see near feel sorry for him for just about a second there? Yona, are you all right? Please, the girl is fine. Vice? Where are you? I can't see you. That is because I have lost my physical form. Doubtless my voice will be the next to go, so listen closely. Your Yona is safe. Do not mourn her, and do not give up hope. Instead, you must call her back to you. How do I do that? Use your memories. Recall the times you spent with Yona. Present her with proof that the two of you live still. 
and that your lives have meaning. I... I don't know. Typical. But take heart. I know you can do it. What's my favorite food? Cookies. What's my favorite book? That's my magic storybook. What's my favorite place? Home. As long as you're around. What's my favorite flower? The lunar tear, of course. Okay, one more question. Who do I love more than anyone? Who do I love more than anyone? I just like this one because it's kind of interesting. Hideous, Dad. You look good. Well, you haven't seen me for a long time. Have I been asleep? I think so. Wow. It's like I'm a princess from some fairy tale. I'm so happy, Yona. I'm so very happy. Oh, Dad. Kaine? You two have a good life. Okay? Where are you gonna go, Kaine? Oh, no, I'll... You could stay with us. Thanks, but I'll pass. You know how it is. I got my own shit to take care of. What do you mean? Personal shit. That doesn't involve you. Take it easy, all right? Kaine. Dad, look! It's beautiful. For the longest time, someone kept calling out to me, wanting to see the light. And now, we can finally see it. Happy ending. Dad, why do her grass textures it's look so, so bad? Sunny today. Yeah. It sure is. That's near. That's ending A of near, technically. Now, I've said this before, but we are going to be getting all four endings. And there's a fifth ending that isn't in the game. It's a text ending that I'll read to you guys uh, whenever we finally finish up with everything. 
you guys might have a couple questions, and I and I could understand that. There's a lot that, while you got the twist in the game, there's still a lot that just doesn't make sense, or at least you don't have enough information for. So, if you have some questions and they're stuff that aren't, it's stuff that isn't going to be spoilers for any of the other endings, feel free to leave it in the comment. And I can tell you, I would still recommend not looking up anything about the game because there's still a couple more endings and it, there are more twists. But let me just say this. So we figured out that the shades are humans, right? We don't really know much more beyond that, but that's, that's what happened to all the humans, basically, is that they're shades and that there was some project. We don't really know much about that other than that. But every time that we killed a shade, you know, we'd always hear a little bit of weird, weird sound. You know, like a... You know, it's like, what's that? Oh, I don't know. Let's just ignore it for now. Weird sounds. You know, Japanese video games. Eh, it was weird games. Wouldn't it be interesting to be able to understand what the shades have to say? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoyed, though. Even one playthrough I think is interesting, but it gets just even better with more playthroughs. And there's a lot of extra backstory that the game doesn't quite go over, and I'll explain how this game connects to um, the first Drakengard game, because this is technically a sequel to the Drakengard game off of ending E. Which, from what I've heard, apparently some people think it's a much better sequel than Dragon Guard 2 ever was. I've never played either of the Dragon or either of the Dragon Guard games. I have seen the third one. Uh, oh, one other interesting thing to note before I forget: this is obviously English. Hopefully, you guys can tell this uh, song. The same exact song will be played in each one of the endings in a different language. Just kind of a neat little thing I like. It's a cool one. I don't actually know what the lyrics to the song are. But, I might look that up sometime. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I think we're going to skip forward until we get to the next interesting little bit, and then we'll finish it off for today. Alright, so let's save that real quick. Oh, look, we got ending a, a little thing there. Yep, let's exit. Load your clear data after completing the game to be able to experience Kaine's story. Which Kaine's story is, first off, interesting, and it explains a lot of some of her weird, just like, thing. Like you might be, you know, for one, I'll just throw it out, you know, why does Kaine wear her weird lingerie clothing? This isn't just a typical, and you might have guessed it, but this isn't just a typical, oh, let's give the woman, you know, like, armor, but instead of armor, let's give them underwear. No, no, no. She actually has a reason for it. At least, it it seems like a reason. Let's see what we've got now. Nothing else? Okay. So, one last thing I wanted to say is that I've been doing near every other day because it's like a regular Let's Play up until now. The problem now is is that for a second playthrough, you're not going to be seeing most of the game. A large portion of the game is going to be the same. So I'm going to be skipping over large portions of it, making saves at regular intervals in case I accidentally hit something, but I'll also be following the Let's Play that I've been watching to assist me so I don't accidentally go over anything. Oh, yep, 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 yep. And so... There may be... It, I may not get it done every other day. If I'm lucky, I might be able to, but more than likely, I might update once every, like, four days or every week, depending on how long it takes me to get through it. And if anyone's interested, you can leave now if you're, you know, if you're only interested in the story, but if anyone's interested... Maybe you'd like to see the intro to the game. The one intro I told you I couldn't show you because it had spoilers. It's not particularly interesting. Vice. 
You dumbass! Except for this. Start making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry. Maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one. Or maybe I'll put you in the goddamn furnace. How can someone with such a big, smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big, sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord. Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us! <laughs> Now tell me, was not a good was a good quarter of that not incredibly spoilerish? I think so. That's why I didn't show it to you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the start of the run through B. Don't worry, it's not everything in the game. It is only the interesting parts, and I do believe that you guys will like it if you followed so far. Thanks for watching. Bye.